In this example, we are looking at a traffic cone with a height of 30 centimeters from its base to its top. However, the top of the traffic cone is cut off and an additional 8 centimeters of the cone is missing. That's the top 8 centimeters. The radius of the cone at its base is 6 centimeters and the radius at its top is 2.8 centimeters. We need to find the volume of the missing portion of the cone, the top, find the volume of the entire traffic cone, subtracting the top, and find the surface area of the outside of the traffic cone, just the traffic cone. So as a sketch, this looks like a traffic cone with this top bit cut off. Okay, so the overall height is 30. The height just here at the top is 8. Yikes. This is uh, da, 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 6 centimeters and here we have 2.8 centimeters. Okay? So find the volume of the missing portion of the cone, just the top. Let's redraw that so it's easier to see. And the top of the cone has a height of 8 and it has a radius of 2.8. Okay, so the volume of the missing portion, volume of a cone, is one-third, area of the base, which is pi, 2.8 squared. And if you um, aren't sure what the area of a volume of a cone is, you can always look it up on the formula booklet. So one-third, pi r squared, the area of the base, times the height of 8. Okay. So, one, oops, third, one third pi times two point eight squared times eight. Okay, three significant figures, sixty five point seven. sixty five point seven centimeters cubed is the volume of the missing portion. In part B you're asked to find the volume of the traffic cone. That's just this here. Okay, without the top. So let's find the entire cone and we can subtract sixty five point seven. So the entire cone is one third pi. Now our base here, 6 centimeters, so 6 squared, times the height, which is 30. Okay, so 1 third pi, and then 6 squared times 30. That gives us 1,130 centimeters cubed. Okay, we only want the volume of the cone, so we want to take this number and subtract 65.7 so that we get the volume that we're interested in. 0.7 and that gives us 1,065 centimeters cubed, okay? To three significant figures, 1,070. All right, in the last part, we need to find the surface area of the outside of just the cone, okay? So what we can do is find the surface area of the whole cone, and subtract the surface area of this top bit that we cut off. So let's start with the top bit. And remember that the surface area equals, from our formula booklet, from my B surface area of curved surface of a cone, pi RL, where L is the slant height 
and r is the radius. Okay. So pi r l. Okay. The whole cone has a height of 30 and a base radius of 6. We can use those two pieces of information to find the L, or the slant height, by 6 squared plus 30 squared is the slant height squared. Oh, 6 squared plus 30 squared gives us 936. We need the square root of that, which gives us oh, 30.6 is the slant height of the whole thing. Okay? Then the surface area is pi radius of 6 and slant height of 30.6 576.7 now we need to subtract this top part which is a cone with a radius of 2.8 and a height of 8. Okay, so a radius of 2.8 and a height of 8. We again need to find this L. So 8 squared plus 2.8 squared is L squared for the very top. 8 squared is 64 plus 2.8 squared and the square root of this gives us 8.48 okay so the surface area of the cutoff part is going to be pi times the radius 2.8 times the slant height of the top, 8.48. So I take this answer, times it by 2.8 and pi. That gives us 74.6. Okay, so we want the whole thing. Subtract 74.6. The whole thing was 576.7. So 576.7, subtract what we just found, the top, and that gives us 502 as our final answer. So 502 centimeters squared is the surface area of the traffic cone.